Okay, so I want to show you how this could look um, in, a, in a test as well. So this video really is just going to look specifically about how this kind of question pops up um, when we're talking about geometry. So geometry is the study of shapes. Um, and you might have a, an exam question that looks like this. Find the area of the rectangle. Um, so in this case, we know that the area of a rectangle is going to be the length times the width. And so because we know the length is x plus 7 and the width is is x, we can do this, um, which you know is the equivalent of expanding this bracket. And what we could even do is make use of the diagram the question's given us. We can split this up. We've got the x plus 7 bit from here. And we've got the x bit over here. So let's just work this out. x times x is x squared. x times 7 is 7x. So the area is equal to x squared plus 7x. OK. Um, now, if the question wants to be really tricky, it'll, it'll do something similar. So if I just move this around for a second, it will say something like this. It will say the area um, is actually equal to 18 cent. Oh, let me write this down. 18 centimeters squared. Find x. Okay. So again, this would be a more complex problem. Um, and exactly how you would go around finding x is something we're going to look at um, in the coming weeks. So don't worry too much about this now, but I want you to get a bit of an intuition about it. If they tell you that the area um, is 18 and you also know that the area is x squared plus 7x. So again, we've worked out the area is this, but they're telling us that it's 18. What we can do is we can write the equal sign. You know, think about what the equal sign means. It means this thing on the left is the same as this thing on the right, which is what we think as well, because in the question, we're told the area, but we've also worked out the area. So it makes sense that these two things are the same because they're both the area. This is how the area is written with algebra. And this side is how it's written and um, just giving an actual numerical answer. Um, and if you wanted to work out what x is, what you're really saying is what number when you square it and then add seven times that number is equal to 18. So, you know, we could try a couple of examples. Let's, you know, let's say, OK, um, what if x is one? Could that work? One squared plus seven times one, is that equal to 18? Well, no, one plus seven is eight. So no, it's not. Um, but that tells us something actually. It tells us that X must be bigger than one, okay? OK, so X must be larger than that. Uh, so, you know, let's let's try another step. Let's try um, X equals two. And again, we're just thinking, could X be two? Two squared plus seven times two. OK, let's just work this out. Two squared is four. Seven times two is eight. Four plus eight is twelve. Uh, Sorry, why have I put eight there? I've added, I don't know what I've done there. I've just been uh, a bit silly. Uh, four plus seven times two is 14. Okay, I'm jumping the gun, I think, is what I was doing. Four plus 14 is 18, which is what we want it to be. So actually, in this example, x equals two. And that would be the correct answer for x. Now, again, we did that just by, you know, thinking and just trying out a couple of values for X. What I'll come to show you is how to actually find X 
every time and, and even find X if it was a really tricky number, like a decimal or, or something like that. Um, but for now, I just want you to get this idea that you can be given a geometric problem, that's a problem with a shape, and you can use algebra to work out what it looks like algebraically, x squared plus 7x, and you can also use information that is given to you in the question to set it equal to something else. Okay?